So I thought I'd try something. Some random thoughts about my YouTube experience and my channel in general. I'll string these all together and see if it's worth posting. Comments. I always try to get in and address comments when I can. And I think I do a pretty good job of that. I've been fortunate enough to, as my channel, I think it's very an organic growth of a channel. But I've been very lucky to have, for the most part, very intelligent people. And when they disagree, they can do so in a mature adult manner. This is the internet, and I do expect at times that you won't get that. Most of those comments come from people that I don't recognize. Either they normally don't comment on the channel, or they're just cruising through and happen to click my video for whatever reason. How I address those comments really depend on the type of tone that those comments are given, and I'm talking these really negative comments. My mood, uh, and what I have going on that day. Sometimes I think it's fun to respond in a, a smart manner. Sometimes I ignore these comments. And other times I just plain delete them. They're not worth my time. And it is such a nice day out today. I'm actually hot. I'm turning on the AC. I gotta take this jacket off. It's, uh, it's February, but man, it's such a nice day today. That's the really funny thing about Utah is there's a joke here that in the mornings, for example, you're blowing your heater at, at full blast, and then when you go home from work, you got the AC on. This is one of those days. Seriously though, in the, in the years that I've been doing this, I've been really impressed with the people that typically watch my videos. And I hesitate to call you my audience or my subscribers. I'm lucky to have you guys around, that's the way I look at it. And to say that you're mine sounds a little weird to me. But by and large, I've had a really good experience with some really good people out there from all over the world, and that's a pretty cool experience. I really want to put out more videos, but to me, quantity doesn't trump quality. And I'll be honest, I have a hard enough time making videos that I do with the time frame that I have. You see, this is not a business for me. This is not a profession. This is strictly a hobby. I don't make a lot of money off this, and it's tough to devote that time especially with family needs, and my family comes first. Hopefully the audio is okay on this, guys. I'm just using my phone. I've got a diesel truck right next to me now. But there is a vision that I have for this channel, but that vision has to be tempered by reality. Again, I am not a professional filmmaker. There are a lot of things I would love to do. A drone is an example. I would love to get those shots utilizing a drone. I really like those and I think they add a lot. But for the cost of a drone and really what it would give me in return or your ROI is not worth it. Again, I'm not a filmmaker. To take these out backpacking, to have this huge drone, how do I deal with that getting into the backcountry? If I was a filmmaker, absolutely. I would find ways. I will never say never, even though I just said never, but I won't say it. <laughs> Could I pick up a drone in the future? Maybe. Although right now, I highly doubt it. I'm getting a little burned out of it. And maybe that's why I'm making this video. Because I'm thinking about it. What do I want to do with my channel? Where do I want it to go? Do I want to keep doing it? These are all questions that need to be answered. The truth is, is I really like the creative process of it. Sometimes I get tired of the gear portion of it. Now I know that might come off as, I don't know, I don't know. Now, that might rub people the wrong way, some people. But sometimes I think we focus too much on the gear and not enough on the experiences. 
You want to know something funny is when I have these thoughts and I'm pontificating in my head, in my head it's this incredible verbiage that's a Shakespearean work of art. If you were to listen to it, it would just astound you. If I were to write it down on a piece of paper, it would just be a visual piece of art. At least that's what it sounds like in my head. But what comes out is bleh. You see, truth be told, there are a lot of things that I would love to do with the channel. And honestly, it's not obtain more gear. It's not the next knife review. It's not the next whatever review that's gear associated. It's the next adventure. There are things that I want to do that are very difficult given the stage of life that my family is in. And I don't say that like it's a bad thing because I feel very lucky to have the family that I have and to have those experiences. And I wouldn't trade those for the adventures. For example, I would love to go to Alaska and do some backpacking. But to leave my family for that amount of time and to do that is just not very realistic for my situation. If this was my profession, and that's how I made my money, then that's different. So basically, what I do is I look for opportunities for adventure. I look at ways to create adventure. And these aren't opportunities of putting on a suit and flying off a cliff. And don't get me wrong, I would love to do that. But I've got to be realistic about it. And that's the thing about these adventures, is they don't magically fall into my lap is you've got to create it. You've got to go out and make them happen. It's very difficult otherwise for it to happen. So here's the funny thing. I have no idea if this is even recording or the audio is working. I will say this about this process in the years I've been doing it. And I've already said this, but not only have I been able to meet some really nice people, some really awesome people via the comments, the back and forth, or just watching other people's videos, but I've also been able to meet some really cool people in person <clears throat> in person that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to. So I would definitely say this process, uh, I I've lost it. What I was trying to say is I've met some really cool people in person, and this process has certainly made that worthwhile. That has made this process worthwhile. There's the blah.